All right, so another fun thing that I'm hoping we can do is add uh, double tap to wake and sweep to wake. Um, I did not invent these, absolutely not. I want to be very clear about that. Uh, but some other uh, people put together um, sweep to wake and double tap to wake, uh, particularly uh, this uh, Dennis Rasman here. And so I just want to point out some credit where credit is due here. Uh, this is in driver's input touchscreen, sweep to wake. And the idea is that they've written a couple of these two files, a sweep to wake and a double tap to wake, with the intention that you won't have to... Um, you won't have to write a code specific one for each phone, but that it's just a generic one that can be used for any phone. Uh, this used to have to be integrated into the touchscreen drivers themselves. So we go to uh, drivers, we go to input, once I find it, input, and we go to the touchscreen. And so uh, we can take this sweep to wake, we'll copy that and we'll paste it in here, and then we'll grab um, the double tap to wake, copy that, paste it in here, and then if we uh, take the kconfig and we open that with diffuse, and we can open up uh, the kconfig from this one, this kernel where we're borrowing it from, and we see it's from the Xiaomi land, once again, uh, DWYN had... Uh, you know, posted this or done this work before, so um, it's really great when you can find somebody's work to look at, and that will help guide you into what you want to uh, what you want to do. So we go to drivers, we go to input, we go to touch screen, and we're going to find that K config right there. All right, now there may be other things in here. Uh, we don't need all of those, but what we are looking for is. Touchscreen sweep to wake and double tap to wake right there. So we're going to grab those. We're going to save it. And then what we need to do is open up our config. So arch arm 64 configs, and then we've got our Alaska Linux user. So where you put this, uh, you know, it's kind of up to you. I would find input, input, input device support. This would be a great uh, place to put this. And so uh, what we need to do is add these two lines. So let's take a look here. Um, For the moment, just paste it right there. Uh, we could also go to find the uh, the line in there where we need it. But uh, input, uh, well, actually, maybe a, a really good place to look would be where's one of the ones that is here? Touchscreen. Let's copy that one from our kconfig file. Take a look. Control find that right there. So this would actually be the better place. Control find input. Let's find where we were just a moment ago. Yeah, here we go. So delete these ones. Control find what we were looking for. There we are. So we're going to copy this. and edit them to be these lines right here. So we want it to say config touchscreen sleep to wake. So we're going to copy that one. And touchscreen double tap to wake. And we're going to change that one. So now we save that. We're going to give that a build and uh, see if we run into any errors. Hopefully that will just uh, build straight through. But one other thing that we should probably check uh, right off the top here is... 
let's see. If we go back to our drivers, input, touch screen to make sure that this double tap to wake, it has these includes right here and we should make sure that these includes exist uh, because that's fairly uh, important thing right there. So I'm going to give these a check real quick, make sure we're good to go, and then we can build it. Okay, great. So that built just fine. Uh, let's go ahead and flash that and give it a look to see how well that works. Alright, so I was able to flash that, but unfortunately there wasn't a really good way for me to make a video of it right now. Um, the uh, sweep to wake, I'm not really sure that's working or not. Uh, particularly though, I don't have, uh, well if you've seen my phone in some of the previous videos, the uh, proximity sensor has kind of been smashed, that whole corner over there. So the sweep to wake doesn't appear to work very well, so I'm not really sure if that's a problem with our code or if that's a problem with the, uh, with the device itself. Um, but it did get integrated into there, and uh, we didn't have any build errors on it, so I, I'm going to have to presume that it works uh, maybe on a phone that just the sweep to wake isn't uh, smashed in, or excuse me, that the proximity sensor isn't smashed in. But uh, hopefully you found that video uh, helpful. Hopefully uh, you'll be looking at implementing some of those things into your kernel. Um, and I'm not really sure how much more on this particular kernel we're going to uh, add, but... Uh, I definitely, I definitely still want to take a look at uh, CPU overclocking. I'm having a lot of difficulty with that on this particular phone, but uh, hopefully we can get uh, a video about that as well. Um, but I do want to uh, just point out briefly that if you want to add something to your kernel, the best thing to do, think about what you want to add, and do some research, do some searching uh, on, uh, on the web. Uh, particularly uh, GitHub, GitLab, and looking at kernels that are similar to yours, looking to make changes that other people have made. Uh, you know, I don't want to stifle your creativity. If you feel like you can write something new, then you should definitely do that. Um, but if you're like myself and maybe not uh, super uh, code knowledgeable, then, uh, you know, borrowing some work that other people have done uh, is really a handy way to go. You might wonder about borrowing that work, like are you allowed to borrow that kind of work from other people? Uh, the great thing about the uh, kernel is it's licensed under GPL, so uh, you know any work that's done has to be uh, released and is um, is open source. So that's why these people just have their work, you know, sitting out here and available. For instance, um, we even look at you know that double tap to wake and we look at that, this is free software, it's licensed under the new pub, new GPL uh, version 2 or at your option a later version. So this uh, work is freely available for you to borrow. Um, but again, I just highly recommend if you want to add something to your kernel, just kind of think about what it is you want to add, do some research, look at some similar phones, look at some uh, similar uh, commits on GitHub, GitLab. Uh, another great place is to look on XDA at uh, phones that have similar uh, system on a chip in them and look at, to see if anybody's built a kernel that's special for that phone and what's some commits that they've added and that's a really good way to uh, get some information on some things that you can add to your kernel as well so hopefully uh, you found that uh, useful and uh, hopefully you're looking forward to some more videos